Okay, we want to do a little tutorial going over the basics of how to use the multi-reader or all-reader program. First thing we would do after putting uh, our ebook on the machine uh, on a SD card, putting it in the slot, we come up here and click on Start. This is going to show us some of the programs installed on the machine. There are more programs, which if you clicked here on programs, you would see, but for the time being, we'll click here on multi-reader. And as you can see, you get a splash screen here. Um, and it has, by default, loaded the last book we were looking at. Um, to, to open a different book, what we would do is we would click on menu, and we would click on open. And it's going to, by default, show us any compatible books that are on the storage card we have inserted. In this case, that would be this one here. It's just a string of numbers followed by RTF, which stands for Rich Text File. And that's one of the types of files this ebook reader can read. So we would then go ahead and click on Open. And as you can see, it loaded it. Now, if we had an ebook somewhere else on the machine, we could get to that by clicking on Menu. Again, we would click on Open. But rather than looking at the storage card, we, we want to look uh, on the unit itself. So we would click on this top folder here and click on Open. And then it's showing us some folders that are on the machine. Uh, a, t a popular one is the one called My Documents. So we could uh, click there on My Documents and click Open, and we could see if there were any ebooks there. Uh, as you can see, there are not. So let's go back from My Documents to the Storage Card. Again, we'd want to click on the top folder here, and we're going to open that up. And then we would go to the Storage Card, click on Open and go back to our RTF file and click on open. Now you may remember from the uh, original video that you move around in the ebook. There are several ways. Firstly, you can uh, page up and page down simply by tapping at the bottom of the page to move down into the ebook, or you can tap at the top to move back. You can also uh, click on the menu uh, choice and you can click on go to and you can tell it to go to a particular page. That's going to bring up the screen along with your little keyboard at the bottom. Let's say we wanted to go to page 33. We'd click on 33. We would click apply and we're going to go to page 33. Now you can see there's a little discrepancy uh, on a point your attention towards the status bar at the bottom. This is showing actually page 34. It's 34 of 714 pages. Uh, it's also showing us that the battery is 87 percent charged and it is 1226 at night. Now another thing as long as we're here, let me just uh, see if I can show you. We can uh, scroll this uh, status bar by clicking and it's going to move. See we're now on page 529 and I can click uh, towards the left. We're now on page 236. So that's another way to to move uh, move around in the ebook. It's somewhat useful if you have a really long ebook. You can also set what are called bookmarks. If you want to uh, you, you could click add here and it's going to make a notation of where you are in the book so you can come back to that uh, later on. Okay, uh, now another way to move around in the ebook, we mentioned this I think on the original video, uh, you can click here on action and you can click here what's called auto scroll. And what that does is that it uh, turns the pages for you. The idea, idea being it's late at night, you don't want to uh, use your hands, you can simply let the machine do it for you. You can change the rate at which the uh, line moves. Uh, let's see, you can go to Preferences and click again on Auto Scroll. 
and you can see now this this gives you different there's a few different choices of type of of scrolling so right now we're using a wave what they call a wave that's the moving line you can click here on this drop down arrow and you could for example click on page by page and then you could click OK and it's going to take you back to the uh, to the ebook and then we would go here to uh, uh, action sorry to action and click again on auto scroll and what will happen is it will start scrolling uh, automatically and as you can see it just uh, switched pages it looks like it's got maybe about a 10 second delay at the moment now you can change that <clears throat> if you go again into uh, menu and preferences to auto scroll and you can see there's a, a line width that's that's for the wave uh, function you can make the line narrower or larger but there's a time in milliseconds so you can increase the time uh, which will make it flip the pages more slowly or you can decrease it and it will go uh, faster um, and then when you when you done that you would click apply you can also uh, uh, do what's called smooth scrolling um, and that there as you can see there's several types of scrolling no need to go into every single one we want to leave you something to experiment with okay so now I'm going to click on cancel okay now uh, there are other things you can do as far as the format of the books for example if I wanted to save this ebook as a different type I could save it as an HTML fi file uh, which I could read on my desktop computer with my Internet Explorer or Firefox I can save it as a PDB as a text file or I could delete it uh, so there, there are different things I could do there uh, then under text I can highlight part of the file uh, I can copy it I can uh, mark on the file um, they're, they're, they've given you lots of ways uh, to do this okay I want to uh, look at uh, profile for a minute you can set up different profiles you can actually uh, change the color of the text and you see we have a RGB here that stands for red green and blue so let's say we wanted to slide this over now you can see that the color of the text is changing here and we can make we can control the color of the text by using a combination of this red green and blue uh, sliders um, you can also change other things you see you can change the background you can change the status bar so forth and so on uh, using these same sliders okay so I'm gonna click cancel um, you can change the font that's important to know uh, we're using a default font here when and it uh, it says correct italic we could check bold if we wanted to we could change it from default to the to some of these uh, other types of fonts uh, we can change the size by clicking here let's say we want to go to 22 for example and we can change the uh, typeface uh, we tell it we want to use a uh, linotype and click apply and you can see the the font is a lot bigger here and it's a different font than the one we started with um, there's also writ some written directions on the CD that comes with the machine and uh, uh, as I say, we don't uh, really have time to go over every single point, but and, and there will be some new directions issued in about two weeks. So if you want to drop me a note, today is July 16th, I will email those to you. Um, there are various ways you can set the, the screen. You can uh, set justification, hyphenation. If you don't want the status bar or the progress bar, you would just click on it, and then that would go away. You see now there are no numbers here. Um, I can uh, uh, now uh, uncheck progress bar and you can see it's gone away entirely. 
we can, uh, I think you may have seen uh, under screen, uh, we can read it in two columns if we want. Uh, here is a choice for rotating the screen, so if you want to read it in landscape mode, which will actually be uh, wider and you'll be able to read more at one time, and then you can also, under the configuration, click on full screen to get rid of these, uh, the bottom and the top margins, so you can uh, use even more of the, the screen. Okay, well that's going to about do it for our uh, all reader tutorial. I hope that helps you out. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, drop me an email. I'll do my best to, to answer. Thanks a lot.